Hi guys, this is Fred Flynn Stoner and today we have something a little different. Um, I was helping clean out my grandpa's house and I came across this in one of the rooms and I figured we'd get to uh, try it together. It's an old club-like uh, clutch lock, I guess you would call it, made in Italy. And on the back of it here is a whole big warning sign of how to use it and then at the bottom it says, if you lose the combination, the stick cannot be opened, even by the most expert pick lock. Well, I kind of take that as a challenge, so I'd like to try it out. But, it's never been opened. There's a little crack in the plastic here. So let's open this bugger up for the first time. There it is. Have the combination written down it's also right here one one three two six and knowing it it's going to be kind of hard to you know decode this on the truck but we're going to give her a try anyway Let's see if we can figure out how to even make it work one one three two six how does it work if this doesn't work i'm going to be so unhappy Oh, there we go. All right. So this should pretty much work on the same principle as a bicycle chain lock, I'm assuming. And that's what we're going to try to do here to, to pick it. I guess I can put it on upside down and that'll make it a little harder to read, but I don't think it'll fit on there right. I bothered, borrowed the mother-in-law's truck here so we can try it out. I think all we need to do is and then scramble the numbers. There you go. pieces right to there to start with make it easier to uh, grab the rings so let's try to give a little tension to the clutch here you can kind of pull out and show how the whole thing works if you want a little tension on the clutch and grab hold of it a little bit and I think we should be able to spin these just like oh they're all hard to move that one seems the hardest There's a loose one, and then it gets hard again. All right, let's see what the next one is. Mm. All right, that one's pretty hard to move. That loosen up on the tension a little bit here. Nine. It's the first one that's hard to move this time around. It's definitely giving me a much harder time moving it with just a little bit of tension. Come on. It's definitely the one. Oh, that's moving okay. So which ones we got now? The first one, the third one, and the last one? Yeah. Alright. Oh, that's really hard to move. And then it opens. 
I didn't even have to move that number two one. I don't know if those. One, two, three, four. Should we try that one more time? Just mm. make sure it's not a fluke. Mm. I feel kind of retarded that it's got the numbers pointed right in my face here, but they definitely, with just a little bit of feedback, stop. All right. It's that last one again. Mm. So it gets hard to push to four. It's hard to push after seven, so it's the six. Uh, Number three is the one that's making it hard. Uh, right, it won't move at all after four or before two. So that makes it the three. It's this first one again that's hard to move. We'll move past two or before the spike. All right, the second one here. We'll move past two before the spike. So that's one. And should just leave the last one. As soon as we got it, she'll open right up. Alright. Well, I hope you guys had as much fun as uh, I did with this. If anybody knows anything about it, um, leave it in the comments. Otherwise, uh, thanks for joining me. Have a good night. Bye.